What's up everybody, it's Matt here, and today we are going to be doing a very special Nerf Gun review video. Well, as you all know, I kind of broke my Nerf Centurion, and I just got a new one. That's right. Now, it's from Amazon, so it's not in the actual box, and, um, it's, it's not used. No, it's not used, but it's not in the box. It's in the brown box, which stinks, but... Um, we're gonna have to make do. Now, um, I'm super excited, so I was gonna do an unboxing review, but since this is just a plain old stupid brown box, I guess we can't really, but I'm, I'll still take it out. I mean, yeah. Alright, so, I'm gonna start off piece by piece. This is the, um, bipod. Alright, now I have two. to rip the tape off. Yeah, or just do that. Alright, so here's the bipod. Alright. Pretty cool. Works fine. Alright. Yeah, that works good. Alright, so here's the bipod. Alright. Here is the barrel. <clears throat> now, when you put this on, fortunately, you can't take it off. I don't know why they did that. Uh, this is kind of stupid, but um, it's a very nice barrel. I like it a lot. You have a tactical on the bottom for the um, bipod. Let's see right through it. <laughs> um, so, a very nice design. All right, and we have the gun of fire. <laughs> the big fat red gun. Yeah. Alright. So this is what I'm talking about. Now this is the longest gun ever. Um, first was the long shot, then was the long strike, I believe, and then was this bad boy. Yeah. Ooh. Alright. So there's those three things, and then there should be the rest in here. Alright, so these are the handles for system coffee mechanism handles I guess All right. Yeah. Ah. All right. so you just pop these in and pop these on in and you have to use a little force because it can be a little feisty All right. Here's a, nothing in that here's the mega clip Woo! now this is nice now um, obviously there's the other six dart clips, and mine are in the basement, I'm, um, I'm in my bedroom right now, but I kind of hurt my knee, and I have crutches over there, so I'm, like, standing on one foot right now. Um, I didn't break it, but I kind of, like, chipped the bone, I was running, and I smacked it on the corner of the table, so it really hurts, but, yeah. So, um, I'm probably not going to be able to get that. Um, alright, we have the instruction manual, uh, we don't need this. But, because, well, first of all, I've had it before. Second of all, I'm showing you all how to use it now. But I'll just give you a quick look right here. All right. Shows the different parts of the gun. Um, and then the back, it shows how you load it, how you put it all together. And um, gives you the different features out. And, yeah. oh, here we go. Six mega darts. And as you can see from my updated Nerf Arsenal video 2015, I have a whole bunch of these in my little ammunition box. And they're all oh so cool because they're big. And you can actually fit like the smaller streamliner darts in these, believe it or not. And what's so cool is like if you have a jolt or something like that, if you have like the streamliner halfway in it, you could put that in the jolt, load it, and shoot like both. Oh, that's just so cool. All right, so. Man, these are hard to open. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Boom! All right, here are the mega darts. All here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! All right. By the way, they hurt, so don't shoot it at anyone's face because they really hurt. Alright, so let's assemble this guy. So first things first, gotta put on the barrel right here. Alright, basically, 
so you can't take it off so here's one look at it if you want to do a test fire with this off with the barrel off first then go ahead and do that but this right here once it's on can't take it off so make sure you put the iron side on top obviously and get it kind of right, let me just oh, okay there we go looking good Ooh, and it's actually very mobile. I mean, it's light. It's not like heavy or anything. Um, noticing I can't take this off unless you like smash it. Um, uh, there's no release buttons. I really don't know why they did that, but it doesn't matter anyway. Um, because who wants it short? It's a long one. And it's beast like. So. Anyway, so for the priming mechanism, all right. I'm gonna waddle over here. My injured foot. Or actually, me. Alright, so if you guys, this camera will cooperate, right there, there's that hole. There's a hole right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're right about there. And what you wanna do is you wanna put this in. See how it's like wobbly and you can just take it out? You wanna bang it. There we go, so until you can't take it out. Uh, and then you wanna do the same. With the other side, put it in, bang it, or just push hard, and there we go. So this is your cocking mechanism. Yeah, get that recoil ready. Let me see if I can show you guys the recoil. It's so sick. Ready? One hand, ready? Like, I'm not even doing that. I'm not moving it. It's just like that strong. Um, alright, so one thing for the Mega um, Magazine, you can't just put the darts in up top like you will normally would through the bottom unless you like squeeze it in. You have to like slide them in because they're too big and fat. Um, alright, so I'm loading this boy up right now. So one, two, three. It's actually easy to load. I wonder if they could like make larger um, capacity magazines. That would be cool. But all you do is you do that, load it in. Um, to load it in, it work with any clip system. You have to have this talking primer back. And then all you do, apparently it's not backing up. There we go. Alright. Push that forward and you're all set. Now, when it's ready to shoot. It'll show you these green little bars right here. Um, and if you guys can see that, kind of, sort of. Those two areas right here, they're black in the camera, but it shows green in real life. And when the jamming door is opened, well, actually, it can't open if it's loaded. There we go. All right, so if this is not loaded you can open the jamming door and when the jamming door is open it won't show anything right here see right there watch right where my finger is see when it's shut that's green it's ready to shoot when it's open it's not all right so scope on this this is like a sniper rifle so you have all right you have a bandolier attachment here here um here and here so a total of four and then also you have one two two long tactical rails so you could put like a scope up on the top and then on the bottom you could put the bipod um and the bipod just slides on like that. It's really easy to load. Let me put it on. Uh, you can do it right. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so on the box it says it goes over 100 feet. But we know that's all not true. I mean, it's supposed to be really strong. And it is. Because when I had it before, it shot like 
almost 90 feet. Um, but it's not that accurate. It sometimes shoots the bullets to the side, not just straight, so it's not the best accurate gun for far distance. But after like 50 feet, it starts to turn. So between you and 50 feet, you're probably good. With accuracy and power, you can rough someone up with this bad boy. Um, <clears throat> I'll kind of give you guys a close up. First of all, look at the stock right here. I mean, I just want to show you the stock. I mean, it's really comfortable. It just fits right in your arm, right there, and it's nice and comfy. You have that nice little cheek rest. You also have an iron sight, which is accurate. Let me see if I can get like some kind of per first person view over here. All right, forgive me if I can't. And, oh, there you go. Okay, you can kind of see it. Um, kind of has a first person, I mean, it has a good iron sight. Um, all right, so to take the clip out any way you normally would, push this all the way back, push this little button right here. It's kind of hard with one hand because this thing's so big I can't. Okay, patience is a virtue. Okay, that's not back all the way, which is why I couldn't get it. All right, there we go. All right, so yeah, nice clip. Um, really nice gun. Um, I, I like it a lot. It just it has a lot to it. Um, it's it's pretty nice. I mean, she's far. It has all that stuff. I mean, I gave you an overlook of the whole gun. I mean, it's it's far. I mean, it shoots far. Oops. Oops. Like this is how. So like, I'm four foot eight. And this is like up to my chest with another foot on. This is like three foot eight inches. Yeah. Long. Um, nice. Nice. I'm sorry. If you want to put the clip in and take it out, you have to have this priming mechanism forward. I don't know why that works that way. And then you cock it. And then you can fold these up or fold them forward, like fold them back or fold them forward, so you can pretty much customize this bad boy however you want, I mean it looks like a sniper rifle, uh, in my opinion, but um, it's very comfortable to hold, I mean I'm using one hand and it's very mobile, like it's not heavy, it's not too big, I mean it's just like the right kind of thing for battle, um, yeah so, If you want, you can hold it by the cocking mechanism, which is what I normally do, or which is what I did normally do. That way, you're ready to hold, um, cock it, and it's actually better to hold over here, too. And, um, the best thing about this gun is it is ambidextrous. <clears throat> I'm not. But, yeah, you get the point. So, um, yeah. That is a review on my brand new, well, unboxing and review of my brand new Nerf Centurion of the Mega Series, by the way. Um, I forget how many guns they have. There's the Mega Thunderbolt, Mega Madness, Mega Centurion. There's like two more new ones coming out. Like the, like some kind of revolver. I think there's like a total of five Megas guns now, I'm pretty sure, but it's getting really nice. So. I like the Megas a lot. Um, I know this is the only one I have. I'm probably going to get the Thunderbolt next or the Magnus. Um, can't wait to review them. But yeah, this is pretty much all for this kind of re well, for this review of the new Mega Centurion that I got. So if everybody enjoyed, make sure you click that like button. Also, please especially share the video if you want to see more awesome videos. Um, and there's always that subscribe button right there waiting to be clicked. And Let's get that button click, shall we? So, thanks everybody for watching today's Nerf Mega Centurion review and unboxing, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.